Hey everyone, today I'm taking my canister filter apart. I haven't cleaned this in about a year, so I don't know how dirty it is inside, but it's been running on my 60 centimeter aquascaped aquarium, no problems. That's why I really didn't clean it. But today, since we just took that tank apart, let's go and take this thing out and see how dirty it is inside. Before I open this filter up, let me go over what type of filter this is because I've received a few comments from you asking me what type of filter I'm running on my tank. So here it is. This right here is a Tetra EX Power Filter 75 and it has worked really well, easy to use and I haven't touched it at all. It's been running for one year without any problems and I've been using an inline CO2 diffuser so you can see this part right here connects to the CO2 uh, regulator and then the bubble counter and it goes into the inline diffuser which then goes into your tank. I like to have a double tap connector on all my filters especially on the intake side because it just makes maintenance a whole lot easier especially when I have to clean my lily pipes I can just shut this thing off unscrew this pull it out and clean the hoses at the same time so if you want maintenance to be faster and easier you should definitely invest in one of these. Alright so let's open this filter up there are four buckles on each side of this filter so you just have to unbuckle each of those and make sure you have a bucket of some tank water you want this to be tank water so that when you clean your filter media you don't kill all the bacteria so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up Alright, so there it is. Not looking too bad. The water is quite clear, but there is some uh, gunk dirt in there. So let's pull these out one at a time. So this is the top cover thing. I don't know what it is, but I'll give this a quick clean. Now that looks a lot better. It's not 100% perfectly clean, but that's good enough. We'll put that on the side and now Let's clean this first tray. So this is quite nasty. Look at, look at that. The sponge is all... Ooh, it doesn't even look like a sponge. Alright, let's dip this in the bucket. And I'm going to throw this sponge away because I don't need that anymore. Look at that. Okay, that is nasty. And I'm going to give this a good rinse. This is the filter media. This second tray is pretty bad. Look at this. Look at that. All of that mulm. That... I don't know what that is, but... That is just... Oh man, and it all goes down, and it's probably it. Look at that. Okay, time to clean this one. Now that is looking nice and clean, almost brand new. Check that out. All right, now let's put everything back in and then I'll pack all of this mess up. You can't see it right now. All of this dirty water right here as well as water that I spilled all over the floor. Try not to get your floors all wet, but this water here, don't put it to waste by flushing it down the toilet. Just throw it out in your garden or give it to your plants and your plants will be really happy because this is some nutrient rich water. Alright, so the filter has been cleaned. You can see the hoses, they look brand new. I've wiped all the dust that was collecting on top of this filter and the inside is looking nice and clean, ready to be used for the next layout. I've also cleaned 
the lily pipes, the glass lily pipes, so they're looking fresh. Now I'm just gonna leave the filter like this. I'm gonna leave it open, leave this open so that air can go in so that the bacteria, the beneficial bacteria can survive. The best thing that you can do to keep your bacteria living is to run this on a separate tank, keep the filter running, but since I can't do that right now, uh, this is the best thing I can do. Just leave it open, leave it empty of water, and just let the bacteria have air. If you were to fill this up with aquarium water, the bacteria would die because there's no oxygenation going on in that water. So this is what I've learned. It's the best thing you can do when you're setting up a new tank. So just leave it like this and everything should be fine. I've heard that it's best to clean your filters every three, four or five months. Some people even clean it every month, but it depends on how your tank is running. If the fish are healthy, the plants are healthy, the water is nice and clear and there's no oil film on the surface, that's usually a good indication that your filter is also healthy. So before you do filter maintenance, definitely check your water parameters and see how well your tank is running. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did like squad, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe as well if you haven't already so that you don't miss this next aquascape and I'll see you guys next time.